Alright. Welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Uh, unlike the other two games, uh, I had a general background idea of what I was gonna have to do. Like, I had seen some videos on it and stuff. But on this one, I haven't seen anything. So I have no idea what I'm gonna get into. Um, so yeah, it's my very first impressions of Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Let's see how this goes. Uh, just by looking at it, it looks like it's gonna be darker and more intense than before, just because of the music and stuff. Um, from what I know so far is that this is, uh, after both of the games so far. So, uh, how is the second one was a prequel, and the first one was supposed to be after number two. This is even after number one, like a long time after number one. And, um, so, yeah, let's get into this, I guess. And also, I, th uh, some, from what I've heard, it's supposed to be like a, like a haunted house attraction type of thing, like a Halloween type thing. But anyways, let's start. Fazbear's Fright, the horror attraction. Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of Fre Fe Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, featuring actual relics from the old pizza. Okay. That was a weird noise. Oh gosh. Different call noise. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. Okay, I promise this? it'll be a lot more interesting this time. We found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and Hi. we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like the really attraction good. opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building out. and work their way toward you, then past you, and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as... The security guard! So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. I don't know what's going on, It'll man. It'll feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old. I have no idea. Metal, though. You watch the fingers. Uh, uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. So I honestly thought we'd have more by I now. I don't know what I'm doing uh, at all. We don't have something really cool by next week, so we may have to suit you up in a furry suit what is this? and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or uh, something like that. So, we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. What am I doing? Uh, for now, just this get so comfortable different. with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> so in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone yeah. it a bit. Why does it do that? <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I board. wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing so you want to watch for there. is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off wide, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. <laughs> keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. This guy's so weird. <laughs> so this place, from what I'm picking it up, is they're just like trying to... They're from the future after all the crap went down. And um, they're, they're trying to make it like some sort of a horror attraction. Uh, not thinking that there's going to be any sort of, um, dangers. Okay. And I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> there's no doors to close? There's... How am I supposed to keep myself alive? I still have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> this is so different.
so I'm clicking these things, but I'm not sure what they're supposed to be doing. Well, I made it through one night. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Oh, this is so weird. Okay. Oh no! This stuff again, huh? Great. Oh no! Purple. Get back here. Get back. Oh, there's a table in my way. Hey, move it. I can't move. Ready? There's the boarded off room he was talking about. Err. Okay. What if I go to the boarded off room? Oh gosh! <laughs> well, purple guy just attacks me. Can't go to the boarded off room. I have some awesome news for you. Whoa. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes us feel legit, man. But I have legit. an even better surprise for you. And you're not going to believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. You found one. Oh, hello. wait, this is right. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costume. Right now, we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suits. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, slash injury, slash death, slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we will discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound sheets. This is an easy and hands-free approach making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, enter and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb the sides. Please make sure the spring locks are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile oh, no. toward the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza. I heard something in the vents. Oh gosh. Dude, I don't know how to do this. Oh gosh, what was that? I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! I don't get this game! There's no doors to close, there's no lights, there's no face thing! I don't get this game, man! I don't get it! I'm so scared! It's only 3 a.m. I don't know what to do! I don't know, what is the balloon boy laugh for? <laughs> I I don't know. Oh gosh! Do I do, do I just have like a stare down? If I look at you long enough, are you gonna go away?
I don't know what to do. I don't want to look away because I feel like if I look away, he's going to come at me. Why can't I shut the door? Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> So if it's doing that, I need to reboot stuff? Is that what it- I'm, I'm guessing that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is- this is scary. <laughs> Alright, let's give it another go. I'm just gonna- uh, Okay, I don't know what that- I, I don't like that. So, this is different. I have to make sure my stuff is rebooted. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Hi. Hi. Where are you, balloon boy? Do I, is, is this gonna be like the other Final Fantasy Freddy's? Do I even need to check the cameras at all? Because really, you don't need to check the cameras. I don't understand, man. I'm just gonna keep going, going. I really have no idea what to do. <laughs> I don't understand. What is this animatronic anyway? It's just like all of them mixed together? Uh oh. What? 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 Well, what am I supposed to do here? I don't know! I don't know what to do! What do I do? What is this? Ah! I'm not dead? What was that? Ah. What was that? So, is it like toxic in here? And if I don't re redo this, I start seeing things? Is that what that was? Oh, so weird, man. It's so weird. Uh, hello. Where did he go? Ah! Don't do that to me. There's actually like animation instead of just like a picture being there. I don't know what to do, man. I'm so scared to look away. I don't want to start seeing things again. 
Well, I already... I, uh, apparently I need to be doing this. Does that make him go away or something? Alright, this game is, this game is weird, it's really weird, it's nothing like the other ones, I don't even know what to think, <laughs> but anyways, I, uh, that's gonna be my first impression video, I'm, I'm gonna make the rest of the series, uh, once I actually know how to play the game, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's what I got out of this, it's really weird, it's not like the other ones, Oh. <laughs> uh, how much you want to bet that the, the new phone guy is actually the same phone guy? Because I'm pretty sure it's just all Scott it's doing all this all the voice acting. <laughs> uh, cool, cool. Well, I'll see you later in the new episodes. Step. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye.